Hello there, everyone, and welcome back. Today, I wanted to have one of those kind of discussions with all of you, one of those rambling sessions, I guess, where I want to talk about something that is, like, a dream, I guess, of mine, something that I just, like would like to see in my own ideal uh, idea of paradise, right? This is just one of those tiny little things in the world of Ninjago, anyway, that I would like to see more of. It's nothing, like, that I'm desperate for and I'm demanding from Lego, so don't take it that way. Uh, I hope I don't come across like that in any way in this video, but I just wanted to clarify that here with this intro. It's more so just one of those things that I've always wanted to see more of, basically. That's literally it. And... Again, it's really, like, insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but I don't know. I've just noticed it recently, and I have actually brought this up a few times, I think, in the past. If it hasn't been on YouTube, then it's definitely been on one of my other social media accounts. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Today, I want to talk about more... Ninjago promotional content, and we're going to be getting more onto what I mean specifically in the future of today's video as we progress further here, but first of all, I just want to kind of give an example of what it is I actually mean, because... When it comes to promotional content, Ninjago does get quite a lot, right? I mean, for example, the most recent examples I can personally think of are the Elemental Mech shorts, which were kind of there just to promote the January set wave. The mechs weren't necessarily directly tied into Season 2 of Dragon's Rising, so instead they just kind of created the set wave, and then they decided to make some Elemental Mech shorts that were kind of there to essentially just promote the mechs, and to get people to buy the sets, basically, to actually serve as a reason for kids and and anyone, really, to go out and buy those sets. And that was really just about it. I don't think anybody's going to argue with me when I say that those shorts were just, um, well complete blatant advertisements. Now, they were definitely still good, but at the end of the day, they were still advertisements. And aside from that, we have also had things like the uh, small interview clip that came out with Doc Wyatt and Kevin Burke. I believe there were meant to be more parts releasing, but for some reason, we've only had one release, and it's been like a month now. But regardless, that's another recent example of promotional Ninjago content releasing on LEGO's YouTube channel. But... I mean, aside from that, we don't necessarily get all that much. And this is going to be the part of today's video where I'd like to kind of incorporate other Lego themes into the equation here, because if you take a look at themes such as uh, Dreams, for example, let's go with Dreams. Dreams is a new Lego theme, and I understand that it's new. Lego's going to want to promote it even more than Ninjago, a theme that has been around for well over 10 years and has a really, really thriving community and fan base. But still, let's go with Dreams. It released, obviously, uh, like last year, 2023, officially, and they have had so many different shorts release on Lego's YouTube channel to the point where it's it's actually crazy. Dreams has been getting so much content outside of the main show, and it's just pure wacky, goofy, silly fun. None of it is really canon as such. A lot of it is, again, just kind of there to help promote Dreams and kind of get it out there in the YouTube audience, I guess. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Again, it might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I've watched quite a lot of those Dreams shorts that LEGO has been posting, and yeah, I've actually really enjoyed them. Now, they're not the most serious things ever. Again, as I say, they're not really meant to be taken seriously, but I do find that pretty much all of them are actually very, very enjoyable. And I'm saying that in a completely legitimate way. I'm not just saying that for the sake of it. So moving back on to Ninjago here, I kind of just wish Ninjago kind of got more things like this. Again, Recently, we've had the Elemental Mech Shorts, that one small interview clip with some of the main writers, and we've also gotten that weird social media clip. But I think it would be great if we just kind of had more non-canon stuff, right? It doesn't have to be canon. It can just be complete, random, goofy Ninjago fun. I just think it would be great to diversify the world even more and have more random, strange, just upfront weird clips released. Again, like what Dreams has had, because... Seriously, they have had so, 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 so much. And I just think that Ninjago could really benefit from some of the same treatment. Knowing how big and active the Ninjago fandom is as well, there would definitely be a lot of uh, people that would be interested in watching this stuff and checking it out. Even if it isn't actual, like, real canon stuff, I think it would just still be really fun to see and would be really fun to actually, well go ahead and watch. It's just one of those things that I've always thought about. It's not really anything significant by any means. It's just one of those weird hopes I've always had for the future of Ninjago. I want more promotional content in the form of random short series and clips and just anything in between, really. Even if it's not canon, I just think it would still be a lot of fun. And that's really all I wanted to talk about within today's video. I know, it was very random, it was very all over the place, but I think, uh, 
And I hope that that made it even more entertaining for all of you here today. Hopefully you did all enjoy this one. I'm at the point now where I think I've said everything I wanted to say within today's video. So again, hopefully you did all end up enjoying it. Now that I've done my bit here, feel free to also go ahead and leave any of your own personal thoughts and opinions on all of this down below in the comment section. I would love to have a conversation with all of you. If you did end up enjoying it, please do go ahead and leave a like on it, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, do all of that stuff because seriously, you guys, if you like my content and would like to support me, that is the best way in doing so. It really, really does does help me out and I do truly appreciate it. But yeah, with all of that being said, I will be sure to catch you all soon for a new video. So take it easy and yeah, goodbye.